Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is a continuation of our review of the Patriot Javelin S4 media server. Now we have uh, previously looked at the media server itself, its physical characteristics, then we looked at the administration software included. Now we are actually going to take a look at the multimedia playback and some of the features and, and capabilities of the Javelin S4. And this is actually what our the contents of our Javelin S4 looks like. Here are the, the pre uh, predetermined um, folders that were in there. These are actually the default ones. I didn't create a custom folder. As you can see, we have, I have populated the videos, picture and music folders with samples that we are going to try out uh, and play back here on a mobile device and on a DLNA and UPnP device. So let's we'll start with the playback here on the TV, on the monitor, on the test system. While we're doing that, we're also going to take a look at the dashboard once again and the Javelin media control panel. As you can see, we, we only looked at the administration earlier. We're going to now we're going to take a look at the downloads, download station, web file manager, web server, and all the other media capabilities. And let's take a glance at the contents that I placed in the folders. The music folder, I have uploaded some songs and podcasts. Um, these they are actually within. I've categorized them, just a few albums in, the, in each folder and some podcasts. There's only a few of them. And uh, I placed one in the, out on the outside. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, just to test because I'm going to try out this media center. Uh, part of the dashboard we've looked at earlier. And, uh, we've seen the share folder. We've seen the other features. But we're going to take a look at the media center. Now that it's populated, our, uh, our Javelin S4 is populated with multimedia files. We can actually look at the features in here. Um, I've already immediately noticed one bug in this software is that uh, if you can see there are nested folders in the music it's uh, it's only seeing the the files that are outside like the here we have one mp3 file outside it's detecting that no problem but the I'm clicking on the plus sign right behind the, beside the podcast to see if it would collapse the folders it's not doing that and it's not detecting uh, the other contents of the folders either so that's one small bug in the multimedia library inside the dashboard as for the videos as you can see uh, it detects it perfectly I have multiple videos here in different I have an mp4 WMV and uh, EVI two different kinds of EVI and uh, M2TS now the playback here is uh, depend depends on the of course, the codex you have installed in your system and the capabilities of the dashboard media player itself. I have all the codex installed in my uh, system, but uh, let's see what the limits are. I think the M2TS cannot be played back using the media center here, embedded. But uh, as you can see, you get this error message: file type is not supported or file is bad. Uh, it's not really an issue since no, who the hell wants to watch a video using this thing here? But uh, it's just a good. Uh, measure to to uh, to see how what uh, videos you can detect and uh, I think xvid looks fine but I will actually mute the audio because uh, when I upload this in YouTube we will get tagged with mashed content uploaded and uh, we suspected of piracy so just uh, let me click on this little xvid here see if it plays back there we go plays back fine and of course stop and go back to the main one and uh, see what other options we have. We have repeat. This is basically just a media lab, media player in, in inside the the Javelin dashboard. As for playlist, you can create a playlist or a new playlist here. You can rename, delete, typical stuff. Let's play a podcast. Since I can't play any songs, we are as I mentioned, we're going to get tagged with the. Uh, uh, copyright issues and this one I'm pretty confident we can play back just a small clip there you go and uh, let's try the photo album now the dashboard now it doesn't detect the contents on the NAS on the Javelin S4 for some reason I think it I think you have to start locally 
upload uh, from uh, your local folders and then for to create an album let's see if we can select uh, organizing the contents uh, inside the server here it seems like I have, I have my one photo I've, I've test uploaded inside the uh, server you can have the option of view or deleting it I'm just gonna zoom out a bit here we are I'm zoomed out and I'm gonna click the view to see what pops out and it opened the browser and it says 404 now let's look at that again it says 404 not found as you can see um, there's still a few more bugs in this but uh, manage album it says now it's lost okay so I have no idea what's going on with that but uh, skip that and go to the uh, Javelin S4 uh, features inside the WebPASM utility. Let's uh, increase the font size once again so you can see. We're going to gloss, we already glossed over the administration. Now we're going to take a look at the download section. Now, unfortunately, I'd like to, sh to demonstrate the return capabilities, although my ISP, I actually live here in Canada, and my ISP blocks old torrent traffic, they throttle it down and uh, I tried a sample torrent and uh, it basically just blocks it completely but uh, if you have a an ISP that doesn't block it, uh, it should work fine as you can see I'm gonna just show you what it looks like, you can just input whatever, download a torrent file and uh, basically just patch the link here or load a torrent from your desktop or from, or from your uh, from your system and it will or you can this page here allows you to paste the address of the torrent file directly and you can even search uh, I'm not sure which search engine they use for the vTorrent but uh, just to show that there is that function also here you have a list of servers just widen it a bit and you can see uh, some of the servers you can uh, connect or remove them from the list I think these are eDonkey servers. These are not uh, torrent servers, actually. Yeah, another file sharing uh, feature. And you can also add a custom uh, server.met. So, here for the, right, the options, you can control your. Uh, let's me so maximize that. You can, you, can read if, you can see that max hard upload rate and max hard download rate can be controlled for which ports the GUI and HTTP uses, you can change that, and the plugin and the IPs down below as well. Of course the top part is the status for your downloads or uploads, transfers. And let's go back to the menu and the next of course a web file manager. Now I didn't, um, oh, okay, I'm, I wasn't sure if the plugin was loaded and uh, appears that it is. It can basically just browse the contents. Uh, either you can use Windows or uh, the the web file manager in here to navigate your brow your uh, the contents of your media files, media server. There you go. And uh, if you recall, the feature list of the Javelin mentions that you have direct Facebook upload. That's why you see a Facebook icon here. Although I can't seem to click on it on the folder, but there is an option there. But uh, definitely for the for the photos, I have some screenshots here. You can uh, try opening one. Looks like you know, there's a sample screenshot took in Battlefield Bad Company, and you can click on the Facebook, and of course it will ask you to log in first. It uses the Promise Smart Store Photo Uploader to do that, and uh, let's go back again. More options you do you get. Let's see if you get the tooltip. You get a rename, copy, and download, and of course delete. So you can completely manage your files through here. Of course, your videos. Here as video files uploaded, and next feature is the web server. Now uh, this is obviously grayed out. You can see I can't click on it because the plugin is not loaded. But uh, as for additional plugins, you can, uh, if you recall the administration page, you can load more plugins. And I'm pretty sure Patriot will put more in there. If you check out the Patriot forms or the Patriot download page, Patriot uh, Javelin S4 product page, 
download area and the media center. We've seen the media center inside the uh, dashboard and it's a little bit more uh, a lot simpler but here it's, it's similar to the uh, web, file, web file manager. You have uh, you can play back or uh, still grant you the option to upload directly to Facebook or download. Although you have, there's no option to delete, it's just basically a read only uh, option. Uh, the best part about it is that this layout is similar to what you would see in the UPnP or uh, the LNA device when you look at it. It automatically sorts it. Uh, for example, the music sorts it by album, artist, genre, playlist, tracks, and year. And uh, let's just click and see uh, individual tracks. There we go. And let's obviously not play that so we don't get tagged with copyright issues once again. That's uh, obviously it's, uh, it's loading. And the video, it, it's separated by format and resolution. You got we have an AVI, M2TS, MKV, MP4, and WMV. These are all files and um, video types that are compatible with uh, PBO and other media servers. PBO being Patriot Box Office Media Player. And uh, just click on the AVI, for example. We got two ones, two different kinds here. Shows you the time. You can also play and uh, download it. And uh, so MKV, see we weren't able to play that earlier, so I'm going to mute the sound once again, since uh, so we don't get tagged with copyright issues. And hit play. See this very large MKV file, 720p with 1.1 gigabyte, about 50 minutes long. I'm going to. It actually opens a local file, local uh, media player actually. So let's look at that. Let's go back to that later, since. Uh, Thought they would try to open it with a built-in player. The rest, uh, yeah, MP4. See the thumbnail there and WMV. For photos, here we go. It's sorted by year, apparently, and uh, by date. And see some photos there. Same options. It shows you the resolution this time and the configuration. Now let's see what. Uh, Options are available. The LNA server, we're going to leave it on since we can, uh, we're going to take a look at that later. So we go downstairs and check out our uh, what the media files are like in our big screen TV. And see so our option to stop it here. And file scanner, it's automatic. Whenever you, whenever you add files into the Patriot Javelin S4, it adds it automatically to the file list. See the file manager or either you, either you access it through the, through the, uh, with PASM or through the dashboard, you will see it here if it's automatically rescanning. Also, you can see the you can sort uh, fill out the files that are scanned. Like if they're small, you don't need to scan them, or if they're audio files or video files as well as image files, you can set it here. And here you have a current statistic of uh, statistics of the the media files that are stored. So we have 120 songs, 13 videos, and 7 photos. There's a little bit of a typo here, information, but that's a minor issue. If I recall correctly, I think there's a firmware update uh, available already on, uh, in Patriot's website to deal with that, to fix some of the little typos. And the iTunes server. It's the last one. Uh, let's see what we have available. Since we didn't create a playlist available, I think you have to create it within iTunes first. Oh, there we go. It uh, here in the create playlist option on the left side shows you. Since you don't have a playlist, you have to create one. You can see all the uh, MP3s I have loaded, and uh, some are WMAs just to check the playback later on in our UPnP and DLNA test. And you can you can add there, plus sign, and sure say playlist, enter playlist name, test. And now we can see it in the playlist. You have the option of uh, editing or deleting. As for configuration, here is a, the 
media server on the, uh, that runs iTunes. It's called the Firefly Media Server. So you can same options as the DLNA one. You can stop or or uh, enable it here in case if it's stop reading and the file scanner. Set it uh, as a full rescan or normal. Also, you can set it to generate the playlist automatically. It's currently it's set off, which is the default, or you can have it set by album, uh, playlist by album automatically. Once you press the start button right here, as for the just like the the um, other media uh, server, you can see that there's a statistic here, total of uh, songs and playlists in total. And finally, we have the database server. Now uh, it is loaded. The plugin is loaded because it's uh, if I hover it, it's also, but uh, it's working. But uh, I don't think it is working properly. Because when I click on it, oh, there you go. It actually is loaded now. Uh, let's see my PHP admin. I think it's just for database control, but uh, it's not accepting the admin admin which is a default password but uh, at least it's loading I don't really we don't really need that now to demonstrate the multimedia playback so not a big problem okay so let's log out and uh, before I load all the videos here in the desktop I am going to show you the mobile playback on an iPhone alright this is the smart store fusion stream app on iPhone and uh, obviously we're going to select the Javelin media server this is a free app currently you can download it on the iTunes store but uh, according to that uh, the app page it says that it will they will soon start charging for it so I suggest try it out for now and uh, see what it's capable of as you can see we have the it loaded our uh, the Javelin media content here you can either browse folders or what we have uh, files in are the music pictures and videos so let's see browse files and just uh, slow navigate. As you can see there, yeah, it has uh, thumbnails for each one, uh, except for some files. I'm assuming that uh, whatever the iPhone can play back, this can play back. So the limitation for video playback will obviously be whatever uh, format iTunes supports. So I think MP4 is the only one. Uh, let's try M2TS if it plays that. File format not supported, M2TS, okay. I think AVI is not supported either. Let's try that. Added it to playlist, but let's see if it plays that back. WMV, I'm definitely sure it's not supporting that. There you go. And MKV. Okay, it's added it. And uh, MP4. That's a playlist, so let's try that. As you can see, it's playing back. MP4 is working fine. Let's try WMV. Here's our playlist right now. Let's try to play what we have. We have MKV here. Okay, file format not supported. WMV not supported. So it really is just MP4 and uh, I disable the volume so that we don't get tagged with copyright violation. See, it plays pretty smoothly for I'm actually transmitting through wireless G. And uh, fortunately, I have to stop it for now. And uh, so it is, uh, as for, for Smart Store Fusion Stream, you can only stream whatever the uh, iPhone can play back. So let's actually try photos. Let's go back again pictures there we go sorted by it's the same uh, if you navigate it through the media uh, media manager or the DLNA or UPnP you'll see it sorted this way here I have it. some photos high resolution photos and screenshots let's try let's try the photo of the for itself I think that one's download there we go it loads pretty fast for a two megabyte file, let's go back to there, and uh, okay, back. Let's try uh, music now. As usual, I'm only going to play the podcast since 
can, can sort by album artist, genre, playlist, or track. He separates it. You can see the it actually loads the uh, the album image, album cover. So it's nice when you're sorting it like that. I, I'm not sure if it's downloading it or is it embedded. I, I, I don't think it's embedded. Uh, it is embedded because it's not seeing the WMA ones, but the, uh, it's loading the MP3. Okay, let's uh, try to load a podcast artist. Let's go back to Wilbur once again and play it. Add to playlist, add to download queue. Let's go back to playlist. All right. See why I'm not. I'm. I don't like uh, touch screen. Fingers gonna be too big for this. Let's try. Just keeps on adding to playlist. We already added, but how can I play it? There we go. It's the same playlist. Let's try. Where's the volume control? Uh, that's it for this month. There we go. And let's go back. We have upload. You can actually upload files from here. Let's see. Or if you take a folder, you can upload it directly to the server. Or download. If we have downloaded or it's already. What we have seen. And search. Let's try search on the javelin. Done. Search, uh, search Bilber. Search, there we go. Works perfectly. All right, here we are in my living room. We are going to try the DLNA and UPNP playback capabilities of the Patriot Javelin S4 media server. Here we have a Sony EX750 inch TV, it has a built in DLNA playback capability. So let's see if it's capable. Uh, just let it boot for a bit. Have it powered down. So let's see if it's seeing the media server. Here we have the photo. We are using a wireless G connection, by the way. This is one floor down from our test uh, system. And it all, the modem is actually WRT54GL. I have flashed in a uh, mini DWRT firmware, the custom firmware, to turn it into a wireless access point because the default Linksys firmware in this router is not capable of being an access point. So, let's see. I'm assuming the, the connection will be slower since uh, we're going through one floor and uh, it's still a wireless G connection compared to wireless N, which is much faster. But, uh, I think it uh, demonstrates just a, a typical home connection would be let's see here from your videos uh, the screen sh the photos these are very high resolution photos by the way these are uh, doesn't say in the DLNA but they're let's look for a screenshot these are 3000 by 3000, Michael Franklin, something like that. These are Fulton ADP screenshots, JPEG, and about uh, two, meg two megabytes each. Let's see how fast it loads. And let's move on to the music section. And let's see, the, there you go. It's the ES server. The option to browse folders, music, picture, and video. Of course, we only the music, so by artist and genre. So the album. So uh, now this depends on your uh, DLNA player. If you can uh, see the uh, the album album mark if you have it in the folder or if it downloads it online. Uh, we obviously, we can't play some of the music because of copyright issues. So I'm only going to select the safest one I know that will not have an issue when it when you play it back on YouTube. Takes a bit of time to download. Now it could be an issue with the uh, DLNA server here, uh, depending on. I haven't actually used the DLNA capabilities of this TV yet, 
uh, seems to like to load the entire folder instead of doing it uh, one uh, one file at a time. So let's see. I have loaded the file already. We're downloading it now. I was actually downloading it now. Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, February 28, 2011. And uh, that's it for this month. See the scene. Pay your fucking rent. Let's do it tomorrow. All right? Okay. And uh, let's try a video playback now. So, video. Let's uh, down and find the. Now I have no idea why it's it's detecting my PC, but it's not detecting Javelin. But it's detecting the video folder when it's in the music, so uh, that's definitely the, the DLNA firmware on the on the Sony t television. It's preventing me from seeing more than one. Obviously, that's not it because that's my PC. So uh, fortunately, I can't test that. And putting it all in the DLNA server, uh, this, uh, this Sony TV. They, they have updated the firmware and the, the, I think uh, they removed that capability. It's going to be a new bug. Well, skip that and move on to the media player, UPnP playback. And this is the Diamond MP1000 HD. It's very similar to the Patriot's own uh, box office media player. Let's see, we have, uh, just go to the browser and you don't need to go to network, you can just go straight to UPnP and see if it detects the network. Wait for a bit. There we go. Start to load. Obviously, we'll download the list of the, uh, the contents of the server first. For example, you can do manually cross folders, music, photos. Let's do it one by one. So again, music, survey album artist, artist, go, and scroll back again, test the audio. These are about 50 megabyte files. Hey, what's going on? It's and this Bird. is a, a an MP3 podcast. file, so 36 Monday, megs actually. March 7, 2011. There, I said it right. 2011. 2011. Um, I'm down here in Miami Beach. Press forward. Beach Festival. This, yeah. uh, I don't think you do. Yeah, works fine. And, uh, okay, should stop it. I'm at it. And click on Let's go back to picture. So the next one. And what's it down? Two megabyte photo. So there. That was pretty fast. Well, that's just a preview. Let's try clean on the screenshot. Wait to go to finish. There we go. Still pretty fast. Let's try it. Let's look for the screenshots. A little bit slow because it's downloading the photos for the preview instead of uh, just loading it. There we go. And finally, the video. Now here, uh, since the this kind of media player, if you've seen the Patriot Box Office in action or the um, Diamond FP1000 in action. Can see that it can decode a wide variety of uh, videos so actually I'm going to disable just for copyright issues because uh, YouTube will flag videos that are copyrighted if we don't turn on the audio so I will mute the audio on some just so uh, you have no problems you can uh, look for the mute button on my remote control I haven't used it before there we go and uh, Let's try one here. Select it. Start with the XVID AVI files. See how fast it loads. Remember, there's a wireless G connection. 
obviously EBI not as not as high def. It's uh, so as, as you can see, it's still pretty smooth. And uh, actually, let's try seeking with that. So fast, uh, see if it uh, it takes a while or let's try sort of that. There you go, extremely fast. Uh, Seeks without not an issue. Here we have M2TS files. These are high definition 1080p uh, trailers. Actually, downloading these because uh, these definitely will not have a problem, even if we play it uh, in full audio. Because some of these actually came with the Sony TV. Uh, yeah, these are uh, some demos, and some are from the BBC Motion Gallery. So let's do this uh, quick Sony. Remember these are 1080p, vi 1080p videos, and they're very large. So let's see if the And uh, I'm going to seek now and uh, try to listen to the, vo the audio if it skips or if it gets delayed. You can see quickly it just seeks it like that immediately, really fast. So even as you can see, even wireless G and 10100 for home playback is not an issue on a 1080p video. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a an ISO of a Blu-ray on hand to test because that's the largest file I know, largest media you can probably transfer uh, through the wireless G network and MKV. Of course, this I have to mute it again because it is owned by HBO. This is actually a fight I think I recorded a few years ago on my DVR and just pulled it out. Pay-per-view match. You can see the. Let's fast forward to the action. This is a 720p video. Okay, a lot of fanfare. It takes about few minutes to get to the action. It's a 50-minute video. So one gigabyte of MKV. So actually, let's finish away. It's a quick fight. All right. Uh, see. Into a 1080p one loads pretty fast. This one loads without an issue as well. And uh, this one is MP4. And these are 720p videos. And uh, it takes a while to. This is. It's not really. Uh, I think it's. Uh, it takes a while for the one gigabyte MKV file to unload in the memory of the media player rather than uh, have problems connecting online. So let's just uh, quickly look at this. You've seen it. It was playing fine on the. Uh, on our uh, iPhone, just quickly fast forward. See, seek, no issues. It's a 720p MP4 file. And finally, of course, it takes a while to unload it into memory as well again. And WMV is the last one. This is this is a, is it a 720p or 1080p? I think it's only a 720p video. It's a widescreen WMV, and I could. This is this is my own video. I could just turn off the volume as much as I want. Let's try seeking. How fast it seeks that, and let's forward again. As you can see, no issues at all. So what I'm going to do is actually. Try to load one video on here, uh, leave it running, and I'm going to run upstairs and stream multiple videos into my desktop, probably those uh, trailers, those 1080p videos, and see how many I can stream into the, from the Javelin S4 without uh, slowing down. All right, I have left the uh, media playback downstairs on, and we are going to see if this. Uh, there's traffic and there's uh, used CPU usage there and I'm going to load up here as well. I'm going to load these 1080p trailers. At the same time I have the multimedia, my multimedia player uh, set to load multiple instances so I can just keep on loading. I'm going to mute the volume for now. It's, uh, 
I'm pretty sure I can play these back without YouTube tagging them as uh, as mash content creation, but uh, let's not risk it for now because I don't want to redo this video and uh, re-upload it again. So let's uh, you can see if it's lagging anyway. I'll just take a closer look. I am going to keep on loading this. Remember, I have one already loaded downstairs. It's looping there. And it takes a bit more time to open one now than before. And uh, I think this is it. How many have we have opened? I have one, two, three, four, five. I could open one more, I think. Two, three, four, five. We can open up this WMV. Is that an ADP video? Just open uh, a duplicate one again. There we go. So I have six right here, and I'm going to demonstrate by. You can see the outflow traffic there. That's uh, and how much CPU usage? Only using two percent CPU usage since it is only transferring data, and the decoding is actually done by the end device. So, and these are as you can see there. Uh, this is a. I don't know if you can see, but it says movie size 1920 by 1080. These are M2TS files and. Uh, so, oh, I have repeat disabled, that's why. Let's try repeat all and uh, press play again. So you can see uh, how smooth the playback really is. Okay. This one is stopped. There we go. So just look closely. I'm going to seek. Uh, which one is this one? This one right here, and uh, see if it how long it takes to seek. See, a little bit more lag since it's loading. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, HD videos. There's a noticeable lag now once you're loaded seven, but for a home uh, home streaming, that's actually very good. It means uh, I could have uh, seven TVs streaming, and it could play back fine unless uh, I start seeking. But uh, these are remember these are 1080p videos. That's very impressive.